نحمد ونسلی علی رسول الکریم اما بعد اعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم قال الله تعالی ان هدى الله هو الهدى وقال رسول الله صلی الله علیه وسلم خیرکم من تعلم القرآن وعلم صدق الله العظیم وصدق رسوله الكریم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي so just review this information one more time and then i can ask you more questions while i'm uh, looking at it so we are dealing with murakkab a compound which is more than two words right or a combination of two words and there is murakkab nakis which is incomplete phrases and then there is murakkab tam which is the complete sentence in the murakkab tam we have then we have two kind of sentences jumla ismiya wa jumla fi'liya okay and in this class we are focusing on jumla ismiya so what is a sentence sentence is a group of words group of words mean it is a murakkab right murakkab of words another word for murakkab we use was group right and in such a group of word which make complete sense for example we say muhammad is a student hamid is sick yes so this keyword is is the glue which is making it a complete sentence agree okay so the core ingredients of any sentence are a subject and a predicate right the subject names a person a place or a thing we are talking about now is the subject supposed to be a noun is the subject yes 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 for nominal yes. yes right because we are dealing with the nominal sentence so keep that the reason yes. i ask this kind of question just to juggle your memory that since we are dealing with nominal sentence the answer is yes because subject is the starting noun right and the detail or the predicate is some detail we are giving you about the subject yeah for example in this case the muhammad is a subject he is the person we are talking about and we are telling you the khabar that he is a student and in the second sentence hamid is another uh, subject and we are telling you that he is sick so predicate is giving more detail about the subject and the subject names a person or a place or a thing okay so the predicate makes uh, a statement about the subject in other words the predicate is the part of a sentence which expresses what is said about the subject yeah is, isn't that just what i said okay and in the above two sentences we have gone over that so in in the arabic language there are two kind of sentences the one which start with a noun is called jumla ismiya no, nominal sentence and and the one which begins with a verb which a fail is called a verbal sentence al jumlatul fi'liyah okay uh, a simple nominal se- sentence of the form for example if i give you the example zaidun alimun zaid is a scholar uh, fatimatu alimatun and fatima is a, a female scholar and al waladu zakiyun what did that mean the boy al waladu mean the boy zaki is intelligent so this combination of marifa nakira makes the is present in this sentence see is al waladu marifa yeah yeah yes huh? yes right zakiyun is nakira right yeah one is common and one is proper the subject has to be proper yeah okay al bintu jamilatun now in here the top two examples we are taking the the alam category is alam the category of a proper noun yeah yes yes and when you don't have that and you have a regular word then how can you make it proper by adding the al so waladun is nakira al waladu becomes marif agree so this is the murraf bil lam category of the type for proper nouns al bintu jamilatun the girl is beautiful so over here 
the male gender uh, you know follows the male gender and the female gender will follow the female gender mm -hmm. and the number also is following each other singular singular and they're all singular examples right so just like in english a nominal sentence in arabic has two parts subject which is known as al muqtada and the predicate al khabar yeah so the noun with which the nominal sentence begins is called the chart will help you that al kitab is supposed to be uh, this is the muqtada al kitab is a muqtada and the two important information we need to know about the muqtada is that it is supposed to be marfu meaning in the status of rafa and is supposed to be marifa meaning so what is the nominal sentence structures telling us that the first noun is muqtada the starting noun is muqtada and it is supposed to be um, rafa and when something is in the status of rafa is known as marfu and the second part is is supposed to be proper noun marifa so you can see the five categories of marifa we learn this is murrab bil lam murrab bil lam because we have added the al al to the to the noun but haza is haza ismu ishara yes okay so is ismu ishara marifa yes good so a khabar correct jadid on the khabar right let's take a look is this khabarun this is al muqtada and khabar right jadidun is jadidun nakira yeah yes and it is still rafa because it's a singular noun so singular yeah. nouns are known by or determined by the last 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 letter and the haraka dammatan will give you the rafa status agree okay all right so look at this example Okay, so Muslim boy, the, the Arabic of Muslim is Muslimun and the Arabic of boy is Waladun. And in Arabic, do we write everything by default in the status of Rafa? So Muslimun, Waladun. Now, if you look at the, the type, the type of both Waladun and Muslimun is Nakira. Nakira. So they are not proper noun. These are common noun. Waladun mean a boy. Muslimun, a Muslim. Yeah. And what is the hala? They are both in the status of Rafa. Yeah. So far with me, guys? Yeah. Okay. So now, if you look at the jins, uh, Muslimun is mudakkar and Waladun is mudakkar. Yeah. And then Adad is singular, Wahid yeah. and Wahid. Correct? Yeah. This, is a, this is an incomplete sentence. This is an incomplete sentence. Yes, agree? Yeah. There is no is Muslim boy. But if I want to say something like this, I want to say the boy is Muslim, then look at the four properties. Muslimun and Al-Waladu. Why Al-Waladu? Because how would you translate the boy in Arabic? Al-Waladu. Al-Waladu. Because this da will come with the Al. Agree? Yeah. Okay. Now look at the type. Is al, al Muslimun still Nakira? Yes. Is Al Waladu now Marifa? Yes. Good. Are they still both Rafa? Yes. Because Al Waladu is Rafa and Muslimun is Rafa. Agree? And Jins, Mudakkar, Mudakkar, and Wahid, Wahid. Yeah. Right? So this is, is coming by this combination of Marifa Nakira.